Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to tweak hidden Windows registry settings with one click. I'm going to show you how we can change some of these settings in Windows, which are do with privacy and also some of the security settings in here. This will deal with a lot of the ads that are forced upon you by Microsoft, also some of the Copilot and Copilot Plus, and also the other type of ones which you don't want, which is recall. This will deal with all of those as well. So whether it's bloated apps that come bundled inside Windows, you can take care of those as well with this app. It's called Super MS Config. And again, this is the real simplest way of tweaking the registry without having to go digging in and looking for particular types of registry keys that you want to disable. This program gives you the ability just to search for particular areas like privacy, ads and other things like that and check it and then just all you need to do is put the check marks in and then click the fix button and it will take care of all of those registry edits for you. So what we need to do here is we're going to download this right here and this is the creator of the Flyby 11 which I showed you yesterday. This is another great little tool that he's created here. So I'm going to extract it into its own folder here and here we have the actual uh, application. So what we're going to do is click on this. You might see Windows protected your PC and that's because it's an unknown publisher and it hasn't been registered. So let's go ahead and let that run. And once this opens up, we should have a little application which we can open up and make some changes. So this is the little application right here. So you've got on the bottom here, there's this little drop down here that says ads, AI, privacy, security services, also apps and bloatware and a bunch of other stuff. So if I did check under ads and then open this up full screen here, these are all the ad ones that uh, you can tweak. And you can see right here, uh, we can disable uh, the Windows experience ads. If we didn't want them, we just put the check mark in. Same thing for this one here, Windows 11 start menu ads. We also have uh, disable Windows 11 settings ads. And these are the ads that Microsoft uh, force on you without your permission. So right here, Windows 11 lock screen ads, you can check mark that one right here. And also there's some other ones which are automatically check marked, which will be done once you check mark the first ones. So here we can see Windows 11 uh, finish setup ads. We're going to check mark that. And there's some other ones on the other side here, like Windows uh, tips. This is tips and suggestions. You can disable those and disable Windows 11 settings ads. So you can see they've embedded ads just about everywhere on Windows 11. So disable Windows 11 lock screen ads right here. And the last one is disable Windows 11 file explorer ads. They've even put them in file explorer. So once you've got that all check marked here, just click on the fix button and say yes. And basically that's it. It's done all the hard work for you. You don't have to go dig into these locations and check marking them and making edits and adding keys. It does it all for you. If you want to revert, you just hit the revert button and it will revert them. And I'm just check marking those to make sure they are done. Now we can move on to AI. So let's go ahead and click check. And it's now going to check and you can see it's found the Windows AI, which is your recall. We definitely want to disable that. So you can put a check mark in here. Also have AI recall on the other one that's for all users and this one is for current users we want to do both of these because we want to do it for all users i'm just going to quickly run this as administrator as well because i noticed we wasn't as admin here so i'm going to quickly go back in here right click on this and run as administrator just in case it needs admin permission uh, to change some of these settings so let's go back and go into ai here and i'll do a quick check again and there we are so all we need to do here is check the Windows AI recall for users and also for all users. And we can also do this one right here and we can click fix and say yes. And it's done. No more rooting through the registry to find those and adding those registry keys. This is going to be great for Windows home users that don't have access to group policy and things like that. Next, we're going to be doing privacy. Again, these are the major privacy concerns, and it's already highlighted some of these right here. You can see calendar access, call history access, email access, and messaging access, 
and radio access. These are the ones that it's recommending that you disable. And all you need to do here is check mark all of these and you would then be able to, uh, you know, basically disable these features. So let's go ahead and quickly check mark these. And when you check mark them, you can see on the right hand side, it says good active. Click fix and say yes. And it's now fixed those for us. And they are now all disabled. It's that simple. Very quick and easy to do. Let's move on to another category and see what else this little application has to offer. So we're going to open up the category here and go to security. Click check. And there's a few security ones right here. So here we've got disable guest account, which is already checkmarked. We've got disable auto runs. This prevent auto starting of malicious USB devices. And we have enable firewall to protect all your network connections. We can check mark that and enable secure boot as well. If you wanted to enable secure boot, you would check mark that one. And we also have disable Windows script hosts. If you wanted to do that, you'd check mark that and you would be pretty much good to go once you click on the fix button. And that's now done. Let's move on to another category here. Services. Let's take a look at services. I'm going to click check. And again, it's now found secondary logons. It's also found the Windows Insider and Smart Card. And you can see here already fax services, uh, print spooler, and some other ones inside there. So you can actually check which ones you want to do. You don't have to do all of them. If you want to, you can do, but just check mark the ones that you want to disable and click on fix. And that would be that taken care of. Let's go to apps and bloatware here and click check. And it's now found a bunch of stuff. And you can see there's a lot of apps inside here. Some of these are already done. I'm not sure whether I've made changes to this operating system already. And that's why they're check marked. And uh, maybe that is the case why they've gone. Maybe I've run a script on here already, but that's what you would do. You basically check mark these and then click fix. Next, we're going to go to startup here. And again, there's some startup stuff here that you can check mark quick time and things like that. Uh, GeForce experience. And we can also move on to system. And you can see there's some other ones here like enable Windows updates. Also enable fast startup, enable system restore and enable remote desktop and show file extensions. You can just check mark the ones you want to do here and click on fix and it will take care of those for you really quick and easy if you're setting up systems on a regular basis and you want to quickly check these settings and you can quickly check mark them and add registry keys just like I'm doing right here very simple and easy to do so I'm not sure if this is going to expand and he's going to add more on here or you can add more yourself I really don't know I need to look into it a little bit more I've only just found it today but I thought I'd share it with you guys because I haven't seen much online about it so I thought I'd bring it to your attention also, you can see ones here on the system like wait to kill service time. And this helps with speeding up the shutdown on your PC. And you can check mark those and fix them if you want to. You've got also here Microsoft Edge, a quick check on those. And you can already see there is some uh, ones here that you could disable. So if you wanted to disable a bunch of stuff, maybe you want to remove Edge. If you live in the EU, you have the right to uninstall Edge. If you live outside the EU, unfortunately, you have to use some other methods to remove Edge from your system. But again, EU customers can actually uninstall Edge if you don't want Edge on the system. Let's go ahead and check gaming here. And gaming has disable memory integrity for better gaming FPS. And we also have disable virtualization. If you use virtualization uh, or you have memory integrity and you want to keep it, then don't use these features. Once you're happy with those, you can click the fix button and you can also revert them if you want to. And it will revert them back to the way they were before, like so. So let's go ahead and try and see if there's anything else here that we need to look at. And uh, I can see up the top here, there's a little menu system. And these are just quick links to other things that you can click on. For instance, if you click on any of these, it's going to go to that location very quickly. So quite useful uh, if you want to get to locations quickly, like... You can see here, Action Center, uh, change UA, uh, UAC settings. It's basically a command center for, for all your favorite locations that you go to, for instance, like uh, change UAC settings and things like that. And you can just go in there and click on them. This is AI by the looks of it, Ask Copilot, and that's already listed there. And I think that's pretty much it. So anyway, I hope this video has been some to use to you. Check it out for yourself and let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to read your comments. 
My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who will join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.